Okay, oh. Today's video is not serious like that, of course. As you guys see by the title, this is not a serious, crazy, serious video. I'm having some um, Earl Grey tea. I love Earl Grey tea. Um, again, I'm just not being serious. I'm just chilling. We're going to do a quick Q&A and answer some of y'all questions. But um, so before we get into the Q&A, I just wanted to say, um, if you have any questions, I get a lot of DMs, guys. I get a, a ton of DMs. Sometimes I respond to DMs like five days after or three days after. If you want to like jump the line and you get your DM response, Instantly, if you have a really important question, like you want me to review a mood board, if you want me to review um, your photos, if you have a mental blog, if you want advice, if you want to see how I scan, everything I won't do, if you want to ask me any question, anything you want to do, I do $10 for five minutes on Instagram, Skype, um, anything that could stream, I do $10 for five minutes and I will actually get to you ASAP. I do review the actual you know dms before i open them i just don't want to open them and then not have the time to respond but if you send me to say i want to do ten dollars for five minutes i'll instantly open that that message and i will make the time to do that that's about it um i accept payments through paypal e-transfer if you're close by any form of payment i don't know like you know what i mean but yeah that's about it let's get straight to the q a i got a couple questions so how did i get into photography um i don't know what year it was but i believe it was probably like around uh 2k12 uh 2012 or like 2013 um, believe it or not, photography is actually not my first love. It's, my first love is music, so I was making some beats. I'm gonna put a link down below and you guys can check out my beats and all that kind of stuff if you are interested. But um, yeah, I used to make beats and all that kind of stuff. I actually had a pretty decent name in the industry. But yeah, I got curious pretty much. I wanted to make some YouTube videos of me making beats. So I went and picked up a Canon a T3. And with that being said, also I was also researching what um, I was also researching about photographers to get some really cool pictures of myself and all that kind of stuff. And then they were so expensive. And remember, keep in mind that time I was like 18, 17, like they were like super expensive, like they were a lot of money. So I got really, really curious to be like, okay, why do photographers get paid so much money? Like, why do they get paid so much? Like, you know what I mean? What's so special? Like, this camera's everywhere. So, I started shooting my, my Canon T3 um, a lot. Like, I just took it out and took some pictures randomly. And it became sort of something second I'll do. Like, I'll just take it out and take some pictures. And long do you know, I fell in love with it. And at one point, I was doing actually, like, events and all that kind of stuff. And working with brands personally. But I didn't have a lot of experience. So, it was more for fun. Um... It wasn't anything too too crazy so yeah that's pretty much how I ended up here I've been very serious for the last two years though um another very interesting fact last year I actually owned a studio a photography studio I owned it for just about a year I just wanted to test it out and see how it works so interesting fact I owned a studio if you guys want a video on how it is to own a studio or everything I've learned owning a studio for a whole year um comment down below and let me know something if that's something that you're looking to do to either rent with somebody or to own it yourself or to you know just sign a lease on it i can give you a lot of you know information based off of that all my challenges and everything that i got right and everything i got wrong and why i stopped owning one and all that kind of stuff but um second question which is really common um film or digital of course film because i hated editing whenever i would shoot digital like i hated editing a lot i hated it i hated it i hated it i hated it with a fucking passion so um da -da -da -da, let me see another question um places i want to travel to um i want to travel to italy i want to travel to bali that's where i'm gonna have my dream photo shoot my dream photo shoot will be in bali i love bali i want to also go back to tulum mexico that's where i went but i want to work with the client in tulum i i love that um i want to go to japan for sure so those are the places i love those are the places that i love I love. Um, let me see if I can find some more questions on here. Yeah, so I'm picking these questions randomly. Yeah, I can't cover all of them. I'm just gonna pick out the ones that I really, really, really like. So, so um, what shows have I recently been watching? I've been watching Kenjin Ashura, 
finish that whole thing. My favorite show, my favorite show is Peaky Blinders. It is absolutely incredible. I love Peaky Blinders. Like, Peaky Blinders is like my shit. Peaky Blinders is my shit. Like, I love the setting. I love how, like, the, the wardrobe, everything. I love everything to do with Peaky Blinders. Like, I love Peaky Blinders a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I love Peaky Blinders. That's, like, my show. Um, I've been watching, like, a little bit of anime, like, Dragon... I think what is it called? Dragon Slayer? Uh, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Sorry about that. People are gonna bash me for that one. Demon Slayer. Um, I'm watching a little bit of Boruto. Oh man, I'm more of a movie guy. I'm more of a movie guy. I watch a lot of movies. I go crazy. Like I go crazy. I go in a rabbit hole. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube as well. So like um some of my favorite YouTubers, um, David Dolbrick. Uh, I watch a little bit of Charles and Alyssa with my girlfriend. Um I was trying to look for cool up and coming film photographers as well. Um, believe it or not, I'm not a crazy fan of Willem's stuff. And that's not because of his competition or anything. It's just that I don't like his content that much. I'm not a fan of his content in terms of like his photography. I'm more of a portrait photographer. I do a little bit of street, but it's awful fun. But he does a lot of street stuff. I've been watching Ayo Greer. Oh my God, there's something around my nose. Um, my guilty pleasure is Faze Rug. Oh, the best YouTube channel to watch is called Cut. I love Cut. I watch Cut religiously, like religiously. I watch Cut like crazy. Like I watch Cut like crazy. Literally, it's just called Cut really incredible um i play a game called guns online it's a really cool game i play that on my on my time when i'm just chilling trying to unwind i'm kind of getting addicted and i don't want to admit it um but yeah it's pretty crazy um i never used to play games another question why are you so cute shingy hell <laughs> thanks ryan <laughs> Um, more details on under and overexposing so under and overexposing so under or overexposing it depends on the scene i'm really more about feel i do not i do not follow rules that's one thing you got to know about my photography i don't follow rules when i take pictures i take pictures with my eyes first i don't look at the picture through my lens first i actually look at the the scene first so that's when i decide how i want the picture to feel so let's say i am right now it's snowing outside automatically it's already too bright because my eyes are bright so that how that's how i process over and under exposing because it's already so bright i'm going to try to shoot box speed you know what i mean because it, I, don't, I don't need to have bright highlights so that's how i sort of see it like if i'm shooting um black people again it's you know i like shooting box speed because i love the shadows if i want to blow out the shadows and i don't want shadows i want shadow detail like a lot of it then I would rate it for 200 because I could always add shadows if I want, but I always want to keep the, the flow in tones, right? In colors, but last question, guys. Um, if you guys really like this Q&A, let me know. My favorite film using medium format is Portrait 160, hands down. I love Portrait 160. Um, that's for medium format. I hate Portrait in 35 mil. I love 35 mil. I love Ultramax. Uh, for 100 it is such a good film very underrated because it's cheap um, I love everything about ultra ultra max like it's like how I perceive the world to be and I've also been loving I've been loving what's it called Lomography 400 I haven't tried 800 yet but I love Lomography because it's highly saturated and I love saturated photos um um yeah that's about it my, my tea's cold now yeah I'm so tired. Last yesterday I went snowboarding. It was just a lot. Like, follow me on Instagram if you want to see my snowboarding slash. You know, um, just if you want to follow up with my with my life, personal life. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, check out my portfolio at shopbyshingy.com and check out the brand. I'm actually wearing some of the merch right now. Um, I rock my shit religiously. Like I think I've worn this sweater for like the last three, four weeks ever since I got it. Um, I have tote bags. I have everything guys. I'm a entrepreneur just like you guys. I Like you know, like I, It is what it is like if you supporting me it will help me make better videos and it will also make me Continue making videos because it's coming to a point where you know like you know what I'm saying Like it, there will come to a point where I'm gonna need to you know prioritize my bills and prioritize everything else other than YouTube So like let's just you know, that's just the reality of it. I'm really real and true to myself and true to the situation 
but um, another thing is if you're really a dope photographer and you think you're dope and you're confident, hashtag and follow at we photo gods to get featured. I feature cool pictures that I really love on there. But um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah.